I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, Six Pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. I'd be more yelling and scream if I wasn't doing with these allergy stuff, but this is god awful. This is a god awful, pointless direct to video sequel. This is another Patreon request for Johnny. Thank you so much. If anyone's ever interested in requesting reviews or re reviews or any other type of videos, you'd either join me on my Patreon or you send in a request via PayPal. Links to both are down in the info box. Chris's Vacation to Cousin Eddie's Island Adventure, 2003 direct to video sequel to, of course, the Vacation movies. And. If I add all of them, including the reboot, which I hate, which I'll talk about that later, because that's another one of the requests. If I have to be fair, this is the worst one. I mean, in a way, Vacation, the reboot made me more angry, but this is easily the worst of all of them because it's so cheap. The production values... I mean, rivals a Diligence Island episode. And I don't even think surpasses a Diligence Island episode. I mean, Randy Quaid, his character works in small dosages or as a supporting actor. It does not work as a lead. Technically, I would. I have to be honest, I think Randy Quaid himself doesn't work as a lead, let alone his character. I don't mind Randy Quaid. I much prefer Dennis Quaid, but and Randy Quaid did good in National Empress Vacation and Chris Vacation and Vegas Vacation. But here, before I go on the story of the film, Cousin Eddie, his wife, and they have this kid all of a sudden I don't know where the fuck this kid came from, who he was named from his mom's cousin's husband. So he's also named Clark Griswold, but I guess he's the third Clark Griswold. So at times they call him third. Well, I, maybe my mind was hallucinating that, but yeah, he's Clark Griswold the third, I guess. And he's also smart. And I don't know where the fuck this kid came from. Because even if this is okay, after 1997's film, it's only been six years. This kid is older than six. Like, wh whatever. They're all living at Audrey's house. Audrey is Chevy Chase's daughter. And this is actually played by Dana Barron, the girl who is the daughter in the first movie. And she was going to come back for the second one, but because Anthony Michael Hall didn't come back, they thought, well, we gotta change the boy, let's change the girl as well, which was a stupid decision, but whatever. Because <clears throat> she wanted to come back for the second film, but they said no. Because Anthony Michael, again, I talked about that when I did my European vacation review. But yeah, the. She comes back for this. She has nothing to do other than this guy he loved. She was in love with this guy. He was married. They So she broke up with him. She's heartbroken. And 
I'm like, wow, the character from the first movie, an actress from the first movie comes back and you give her nothing to do, nothing to work with on a script level, character level. And then just the three of Eddie, his wife, and the smart kid, because I guess the others, they're away on babysitters or other relatives. Cousin Eddie's job is to be a test subject. And what they're testing is being injected with nuclear waste. So yeah, Randy Quay's character is getting injected with nuclear fucking waste. Him and a monkey. And because the monkey is smarter, because Randy Quay's character, Eddie, can't even do fucking tit-tat-toe. I know the character's supposed to be dumb, but there's dumb and there's too dumb. I'm like, injected with nuclear waste. So, do I even have to say more? Randy Quay's a star, he's injected with nuclear waste, and he's being tested along with a fucking monkey. Do I, uh, chimpanzee, do I really have to fucking say more? Do I have to say more? I guess so. A sequel no one asked for Cousin Eddie's Island Adventure. Which, by the way, why make a sequel to Christmas Vacation? Christmas, if you don't take place on a fucking tropical island. Christmas Vacation, tropical island, where it's just sun and sunshines and trees, a palm trees. Christmas Vacation, but tropical island. Then why the fuck? Why the fuck wasn't it called Vegas? I mean, well, it can't be called Vegas. Why the fuck was it just called National Lampoon's Vacation 2 then? Oh, but it's Christmas. Why? Christmas. What point was Christmas even part of this, really? I mean, yeah, they celebrate Christmas in a tropical fucking island. But it, it could have just been anything. It could have been... Whatever. So... They don't fire Randy Quay's terror. They have fired him because the monkey is smarter. And the son, granted, I get what the son is saying. He's disappointed his dad, how stupid he is, and how do you get fired. What he's saying is not wrong, but the kid actor they got sucks. He can't act. He, or at least not in this film. He could not act for shit. And he was an annoying little twerp of a kid character. It was not the actor's fault. Maybe it's the way he was directed and the strip. I mean, no one can fucking do anything with this fucking strip. I was looking for something to just fucking throw. Is it that bad? Go see it for yourself. It's a 2.7 on IMDb for a good fucking reason. Definitely up there with worst comedy sequels of all time. Easily. I mean, this whole humor with the bathroom is filling up with water because Randy Quaid screwed up. So all water's going hay haywire and his wife is trying to catch it with a pail. Randy Quaid goes by trying to get his job back. He gets bit on the ass by the monkey. The scientist, I think one of them is actually Fred Willard, which sadly he passed away recently rest in peace Fred Willard he can't do anything with this they're worried that he's gonna sue which I'm like well this guy's too stupid enough he won't sue but they said well let's give him an a vacation so he takes it he's an idiot so him his wife his smart annoying ass kid Audrey Dana Barron from the first movie says she's oh my love my love he was married and I so I dumped him give her something more to do 
And also Ed Asner goes along. Ed Asner is Uncle Eddie's... It's Eddie's uncle. It's Randy Quaid's uncle in the film. And the wife left him. And pretty much he's just a crotchy old man who loves looking at younger ladies. I mean younger as in their 20s, not the other one. That'd be a different movie. And this is the type of movie where they have the dog snots from Chris's Vacation. And I don't even remember if that dog was in Vegas Vacation. I'm trying to remember now. But <sighs> fucking fart jokes. That's all the dog is there for. Fart jokes, fart jokes. You keep hearing <laughs> throughout the entire fucking film. There's a point where when they get on the island, they need to get the campfire out, and the dog just pisses on the fire to get it out. Like, these are the jokes we're resorting to. And this made for cable, made for TV movie. It looks cheap. I mean, I've seen episodes of fucking Home Improvement with more production value than this. Oh, another person returns, Eric Idle, the guy who got hurt multiple times in European Vacation, which I'm not a fan of that movie, but it's miles better than this. Miles better. And... He appears at a couple scenes where they're fumbling about in the airport, then on the plane, and Eric Idle's getting hurt, but he's still very nice. They get to the island, they hang out for a bit, they go on a boat ride. I'm like, is this really going to be Gilligan's fucking island? Kind of was. Because they go on a three hour tour, pretty much. Randy Quay catches a shark, and instead of letting go of the fucking pole, no, instead, the boat is dragged all around. Then finally, it slips out of his hands. And then there's a fucking island over there. And they they don't put anchor because they're too stupid. So they get on the island and they're trapped on there. Oh, they have this running dad where the plate in Randy Quaid's head is now a bud zapper. So fly... Zzz. I still don't get why you have a Christmas vacation on an island with sun and bright skies, tropical weather. Because that screams Christmas. I remember reading somewhere at one point, I think for Vegas vacation, Chevy Chase wanted to have like a Swiss family vacation where they were trapped on an island. What they do? They, they stole that and they put it for Uncle Eddie? Or... I keep saying uncle. Cousin Eddie? I don't know why I keep saying uncle. Cousin Eddie. I didn't catch that earlier, so I'm sure people are screaming, what the fuck is that Uncle Eddie? I don't know why. This is movie fucked up my brain. It's 20 some minutes and it's still too fucking long. If it was two seconds, it'd be too long. It just, this was a pointless, unfunny endeavor with a lame plot lame script lame direction lame production values really zero <clears throat> and on the island not much fucking happens on the island Ed Asner same lines like when you get to be my age a good dump is one of the great pleasures in life okay USA Randy Quaid hunting a little pig and then he finds a boar and he accidentally kills it. The dog keeps farting. Then it's Christmas. His smart ass kid gives him a spear. Which Randy Quaid immediately throws and then you hear an elephant shriek. Like elephant. You know it's. Like, there's fucking elephants on this island now? There's elephants on this fucking island? You're not supposed to take it seriously. Bullshit. 
You're right. A lot of the other films are not in the realm of reality. But this was just not even creative. It was not even funny. That's the difference. And then they're having talking about Christmas. And then Randy Quaid starts acting like a fucking preacher or a televangelist wanting your money. You know, singing the song, Amen, Amen. Because apparently that's that they thought that was funny in the script. And then out of the blue, a fucking plane just goes by and lands. Because you find out the pilot, it's his island or he has a hotel on the other side of the island. Because they didn't bother to look on the island. Otherwise, they would have found a fucking hotel. And so he, I'll go fly you back. Randy Quaid fucks up. Hurts the guy. So now Randy Quaid has to fly. Randy Quaid has to land the plane. And then they crash. They all die. The end. No. I would have been fine if that it ended that way. I really would have. Because Cousin Eddie, he can work in small dosages and such. But he does not work in the lead. It also doesn't help with the script and this plot. Why the fuck did he even bring Audrey from the first film? Like the f actress, why did you bring her back to do absolutely nothing but cry about this guy that she was with? Which hell, that was the bit that the Audrey and European vacation was doing, was crying about her boyfriend. She's obsessed with her boyfriend, then crying about her boyfriend. Did they pitch a European vacation? Why didn't you just get that fucking actress if you want to do the same thing? I mean, I was fucking well. I don't know why there's a piece of me that is surprised Chevy Chase is not in this. I guess because in 2003, Chevy Chase was kind of in the, by this point, in the shitter of his career. So I'm surprised he did not take a cameo in this. I am shot. Because didn't he do movies like Funny Money and whatever other shit around this time? But yeah, they land the plane and then Randy Quaid gets a new job as a pilot. Whatever. This movie, it's abysmal, it's cheap, it's unfunny. You got dog fart jokes, you got setup is so stupid with nuclear waste testing and to fucking Randy Quaid's arms and monkeys and nothing really happens on the fucking island but yet they're like this was the best vacation ever you didn't do anything you're on there it felt like not even a day it felt like it felt like you guys were not even on the island for a fucking hour Because again, what all happened? They looked around. Oh, they built a house. And then it fell down. And then before that, Randy Quaid chased the boar, killed it. And then I guess technically it's been longer than that because then it's Christmas the next day. So, there you go. Real edit. I I don't know what else to say. I don't know why this film was made. I don't know why. What brought them. I totally assume. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because. National Lampoon's Vacation. The first one came out in 83. So they think. Well 83. 93, 2003. Hey, the 20th anniversary of National Lampoon's Vacation. Let's have Christmas Vacation too. I didn't think about that. Yeah, I think the first film was 83. I could be mistaken on that. I believe it was. So this was their answer to the 20th fucking anniversary of National Lampoon's Vacation was this bullshit?
Was that why? Which then I'm surprised he didn't just do National Lampoon's Vacation to. But I guess, you know, they didn't want you. Uh, well, I don't fucking. Whatever. So I don't know what else to say. This is incredibly awful sequel. There's not one jolt that landed for me. There's not one character I gave a shit about. Ed Asner, he's just there to look at women who are scantily clad and say a couple lines. This is a lame, unfunny fucking film. And a pointless, worthless sequel. Fucking trash. Fucking trash, trash, trash. It deserves to be in the garbages. What's the garbages? It's a bunch of women who want to eat nothing but shitty movies. And they get on their knees. They don't want the dip. They want shitty movies. You just cut this to pieces. You feed it to the three garbages. That's how like a fucking monster that Sinbad or Hercules were fight back in the day. The garbages. This is, I don't know where I'm going with this. See you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.